when you see something like this happen, it's a reminder of exactly that reality. And it's really, I'm really sad for his family, um, obviously his loved ones, knowing that he was about to be honored again in just a matter of days and he was being celebrated for the Immaculate Reception. For us to sit here this morning anticipating that and having every reason to anticipate that because we saw him yeah. and we heard from him, particularly on your radio show, and he, was in, and he seemed in good health, for it to just end like this, it's, it's just, it's, it's really sad. Well, first off, remember, he was going to have his number retired this weekend. Yes. There's only one other Pittsburgh Steeler who's had his number retired, and that's me and Joe Green. Yeah. Which people don't either would think there's a million of them. Yeah, he was gonna be so number, many great. And he's going to be number two. Wow. And the Raiders are playing the Steelers on Saturday night, Christmas yes. Eve. Yeah. yeah. This is going to be a huge story in the NFL the next three, four days. Yes. Yeah. You know that better than anybody. I'm sorry. First off, they got games on the Christmas holiday. You got Raiders, Steelers on Christmas Eve. Yeah. That's right. The Steelers are a huge franchise. When you saw all those I think yellow... Michael Irvin was going out to come I believe that so. game. I, was I, feel, okay. I believe so. I'm not sure, but I believe so. he was going to Pittsburgh yeah. for that. Uh, I remember, when you see all the yellow towels, did you see the Carolina game this past yes. week? The place yeah. is full of yellow. Yes. Where did that start? It started here. Yeah. That's right. This game. Terrible yeah. towels. It started with this game here against the Raiders. And think about this for a second. We all know the great Steelers. And the 75 Steelers, I don't want to go. I know he gets mad at me. I I'll, don't. I'll, I'll do with it anyway. I don't. The 75 Steelers, and I, I was 16. I, you know, I'm a football geek at this. Yeah. The 75 Steelers are one of the top five teams in the history of the league. Yeah. I mean, the 75, the Dolphins, you can come up with the Niners, yeah. that, the Giants of 86, the Bears, yeah. that team was so good. And think about the Hall of Famers on the field 50 years ago on December 23rd. The Steelers had a million of them. How about the Raiders? Yeah. Madden's in the Hall of Fame. Stabler's in the Hall of Fame. Kenny Stabler. Uh, Upshaw's in the Hall of Fame. Right. Art Shell's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, Willie Brown's in the Hall yeah. of Fame. But yeah. Litmacoff. Yes. Is in the hall. Of, so is Cliff Branch. You had 15. I'm counting top of my head. You had 15 guys. Mm -hmm. 50 years ago on December 23rd. 15 players on the field at the same time in a playoff game. Right. We're in the Hall of Fame. And by the way, back then, I mean, you, you, I mean, the kind of stuff. These guys would be arrested in today's game. Oh. You know, for the kind of stuff that happened on the field oh, yeah. back then. I mean, the kind of it's stuff that gets time. flagged now. Oh, my Lord, back then, please. And by the way, you bringing this up, you know, as an aside, I have no idea why Terry Bradshaw's number has not been retired. Oh, I totally agree. I have no what idea. Terry Bradshaw is a four-time yeah, Super that Bowl was champion. That's a shocking That's a number joke. by you to know that only one so, other. Well, they, they will get around to it, yeah. but get around to it quicker. Yeah, yeah, Terry Bradshaw is here, and he's on television right. doing a great job, I, I might add. The, what He's a four time Super yeah. Bowl champion. That man deserves his number retired in Pittsburgh a long, long time ago. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.